All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, my man's Tory Lanez, man. You know, his luck is not that great here lately. He tried to put in a request for a retrial over the Megan Thee Stallion shooting back in 2020. And uh, he said he was going to bring all this evidence and show why he deserved the retrial because he felt like in the first trial, they didn't really show all of the proof that he had that he didn't do anything. And when he put all that proof in front of the judge, the judge was like, sir, this is trash. <laughs> and he shut him down. So uh, his trial, his, his, his retrial got shut down pretty quickly from what I understand. I think he probably did like, you know, Trump and them, you know, with the voting. We got proof that they, they cheated with the voting. What's your proof? Uh, well, you can see this guy walking up the street and, uh, you know, then he disappeared. So that means somebody lied about the vote. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Well, it does to us. <laughs> it's like you ain't really got no proof, you know, because if, if you got real proof, a judge is going to be like, yeah, that's that's good. We need to go ahead and bring this back to life. So obviously, whatever proof you bought was trash, sir. Damn. Not not being funny, but you know, I mean, it must have been trash. You know what I mean? Because the judge shut the whole shit down, from what I understand. So, what do you think about the whole situation? Do you um, you have an opinion on who you think was lying? Like, do you think Megan was lying? Do you think Tory's not lying? I ain't got no opinion about that. Gotcha. Someone shut off their pinky. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Big bitches with garbage. Man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. I wasn't there. But based on what I've heard, I do feel like Megan was telling the truth. You know what I mean? Based on what she said, she sounded a little more truthful than him. Now, you know what I mean? My thing is, if you got proof, you know, bring the proof that you, you know, didn't shoot anything. Um, hell, if the court won't let you do it, then do it on social media. Here you go, y'all. Let me show y'all. Since the court wouldn't allow me to, you know, mm -hmm. bring my proof, let me show y'all so I can get the court a yeah, public that's, opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the new court, man. Shit. Yep, that's it. That's the new court. So, um, you know, and before we move on, please don't forget, just want to remind y'all, like, like, share, yeah. subscribe. Like, like, share, share subscribe. subscribe. Like. Share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, Brothers and sisters. we need funds allocated, allocated to go to the LL Cool J concert. That's right. You know what I mean? Make sure you not, not pass that plate over there, bro. That's sad, nigga. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. But, um, but anyway, man, uh, let's move on. Um, Ebony, you want to talk about Ebony K. Williams? Yeah, we, yeah, we can talk about Ebony K. Williams. Okay. Her statement. Uh, so, I know it's about a couple of years, weeks. Uh, yeah, it's weeks. been a little time, but we didn't get to cover it last week. And um, it's an interesting topic, you know what I mean? And um, I do think it's interesting only because of the way that she tried to cover it up, you know, to, to, to fix her reputation. So, basically, she was in an interview with Eon LeVanzant. You know, um, a lot of people know her from the Fix My Life joints. And, you know, Eon the I think Iyala was kind of picking up on her vibe. She was picking up on Ebony's vibe about how she was a little on the hostility side. So she was like, okay, Ebony, let me ask you this. Would you date a bus driver? And Ebony was like, only if he owned the bus. And so that comment really got her into a lot of flack. A lot of people was like, whoa, what you mean? That's the only time you would date a bus driver is if he owned the bus? Now, um... You know, I felt like most people felt, you know, like she was just saying, you know, I'm above just dating an average driver. You'd have to be a, a an owner for me to want to date you uh, to be on my level. Now, she tried to backtrack it and say, well, no, I was trying to uplift black men by saying that. You know what I mean? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I don't see the upliftment. I don't feel very uplifted. So. And, you know, you might have to um, clean that up a little bit more. So most people who heard her when she tried to clarify still said, nah, they call bullshit. So what do you think about the whole well, the thing? Well, the thing of it is, like, don't get me wrong. I, I I do understand that she just don't want anybody. I get that. I respect that. Um, But if the man doing the bus, or if he's driving a bus or he's, you know what I'm saying? If he's working and that's what he's focusing on, 
you know who that man is doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, working. you already know where he at. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that, oh, well, you know, I'm I'm just average and I just, you know, work a butt, you know, work a bus. I I just I just kind of, I'm kind of tired of that shame. It's like, right, right. why, why, why can't, why can't a man just be, you know, you a man can be proud, have pride in what he does. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, hey, I may not be, I may not be a millionaire, but hey, I, I work here, I get a steady check. I'm not saying that's great or grand, but hey, you know, I, I, I take care of myself. I yeah. make sure everybody that's around me is taken care of. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, you know, I just think this whole uh uh reality stuff, especially like reality TV, like and this like this old mindset of, oh well, you know, man gotta have this and he gotta have all this money and and you know, it just gotta be money, about money and take me to nice places, which is fine. But it should be, you know what I'm saying? It should, you know, it should be like a, a team effort working together, not just, you know, you dictating to this man and like, oh, well, you know, you got to do this. And it's like, no, nah, it's really narcissistic. Yeah. It's, and yeah. I mean, a lot of times that shit backfires, man, because a lot of these women uh, who think they need these million dollar men. A lot of times they end up getting cheated on because certain men, when they get to that high standard or high um, level of income, they feel like I can have whatever woman I want. Well, that you and the I mean? fact the fact that they probably like, you know what, I'm tired of this nagging bitch. Right. Exactly. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get into it. So, really, she, act, from what I understand, she had, um, she had, um, uh, she she had a, she made herself available to all races of men. She had like a white man. I think that was actually he was actually had, you know, family. Okay, okay. And he was keeping her up in an apartment and everything. Had her kept up and everything. She fucked that up. Yeah, and yeah, and like when the pandemic happened, he like yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of him. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Based on the way she was talking, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with her either, nah, man. I'm good. Let alone marry. I'm good, so, man. Yeah, I'm good just, on that. Um, yeah, some of these some of these bras, they look good and everything. And really to me, she don't like her attitude don't make her really that pretty. Yeah. It yeah, really don't. It don't. Not it really all. don't. And, and DJ Envy went on, went in on her too, actually. Uh, oh, she, wow. they, they interviewed Should her. we clap that up? Right, we might need to clap that up, man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> my man got a backbone. Envy kind of got a backbone. He wow. Was, he said, yeah, you know, uh, I, I kind of side with those people who are bus drivers because, you know, I know a lot of them and, you know, those are my peoples. You know what I mean? And I don't appreciate the way you was talking to them, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, um, shoot. So, yeah. man, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's like they... It's like the people that's up on top are going to shit on people that, okay, they may not be the next, you know, Bill Gates or, but these people are the same, are the people that keep the country going. Why are you yep. shitting on these people? Exactly. The bus driver, the construction worker, the people that, you know what I'm saying? They, there are people necessary to keep the country going. Why are you shitting on them? If yeah. it wasn't from them, you wouldn't be able to do whatever you needed to do. Yeah. And I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, you got to get on a bus, but you know what I'm saying? If that option, if that option wasn't there and you needed that option, now what? What do you got to do? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, man. I mean, and uh, and honestly, man, a a standard bus driver would be the most loyal person to you if you was uh, in her shoes. You know what I mean? That's going to be somebody who's going to really be loyal to you. You know what I mean? But you keep on doing what you're doing, you know. I, I, I hope you get exactly what you deserve. <laughs> and that's what be alone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's just that's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, like, nah, I'm sorry. You 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 deserve somebody as well. Yeah, she I gonna get somebody. She's gonna get exactly but, who she deserved to get. Yep. Yeah, but that's that's the thing, man. I just I just don't get it. I'm don't and I'm it. just sick of, and too, I don't wanna that's another thing too, and I know I kinda fit into it. I'm just sick of this whole men versus woman and like man got to do this and it's just like you know right right evidently the way that we go we're going about shit right now is not working why yeah. come we're not coming together and working with what resources we have yeah together 
Because guess what, black people? Every other fucking ethnicity does that shit. I don't see I'm surprised I said that right. <laughs> Everybody she does right, it. though. You know Everybody I mean? else does group economic and work together. We're the only ones who's like, oh, you don't make enough money. I'm gonna put this ah, I'm gonna put this nigga down here. Right, right. Oh man, shoot. Yeah, man, we got to start coming together. That's man. what I'm saying, man. As a people. Shout know, out, man. shout out to the Latino community. Man, for real, man. They, that you know, old I, that one clip that was um, there's one I forgot. It was a lat. I think she was a Latin, uh, Latina, and she was just saying, "Look, you know, we try to work together. Like we don't make it unless everybody make it." Yeah, and that's, and that's how it should that's be. That's a beautiful thing. That's how it should be. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? Our people get so competitive, like nah. Yeah, that's I don't what need you outdoing me and you know outshining me. It's yep. enough shine for everybody, man. Yeah, and that's the thing. Even I have to shout out uh, Dr. Umar Johnson for that. That's one thing he pointed out. I mean, back in you know back in the day, like he's like, yeah, even black men competing with black women. It's like, how are you competing with a right. woman? Now I can understand right. a man, right? In a, in a sense, because you know men are competitive. You know, friendly competition. Not, yeah, yeah, not no, not no, like, oh, I'm gonna shine on this thing. I'm gonna shine on it. No, no, yeah. not like that. But, you know, friendly competition, I can understand. But I'm not competing against no woman. Right. And, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. So, y'all let us know what y'all think about that in the comments. We'll go from there. Um, I wanted to mention the uh, the new documentary, docu-series by um, Jada Pinkett Smith called uh, uh, Cleopatra. Um, uh, Queen Cleopatra, I think is what it's called. Yeah. So we we did watch the first episode, and uh, what did you think about it? I thought um, I really thought it was pretty good. It was represented well. Um, I'm I'm enjoying. It. I kind of like the I like the way that it's kind of there's historic, you know, historical facts behind it. There's people narrating the historical facts. Yeah. But then at the same time, you're kind of watching this scene come right. about. Yeah. So it's like it's it's like a story, but then it's a story, but then it's still like a documentary. Exactly, it's really a good ta- it's a really good take on it. So yeah, yeah, I think they do a good job with that. It's a good blend, like you said. Yeah, you, know, you get the, the the reenactment of the actual story, but you also get the running commentary every uh, few minutes from somebody to make it a real documentary. So. Um, I do like that, and I'm gonna keep watching it. We we only watched the first episode. I'm yeah. not sure how many episodes they're gonna do, but uh, so far so good. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, it's good to know. I, I actually learned something, you know, about her that I didn't know. You know, because uh, I never actually knew that she was not from Egypt. You know what I mean? She was. She's uh, so according to the docu series, she's from uh, Macedonia, uh, which is actually in Europe. Mm-hmm. But she was still a woman of color, and she wanted to be connected. That's another thing too. She wanted to be connected to the Egyptians. That's right. one thing I, exactly. I. That's one thing I can say that I like that she really wanted to be connected with those people. You know. Yep. Yep. So. Um, so y'all go check it out. You know, let us know what y'all think. It's on Netflix, uh, so you can. You know, watching. I'm sure all y'all got Netflix by now. You know, you don't need the love a love or email no more. Well, they ain't gonna let you have the love a love or email no more. <laughs> they can't let the yeah, they they broke that seed up. I said, nah, you ain't getting shit. Man. Right, exactly. So, Same Netflix. That's how y'all got up. Oh my bad. Uh oh. My bad. No, I meant to turn my uh, ring off earlier. Scam likely. My arch nemesis. Um. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we can move on. Um, before we close it out, did you want to talk about anything else, like the verses with Bad Boy or any of that? Um, yeah, we kind of already talked about that. Right, um, we talked about I want to shout out, I mean, not shout out, but um, before we get on here, we was getting ready to talk about uh, Cameron clowning uh, Jordan Poole. I think he's a basketball oh, player. Yeah, I think yeah. he's Dallas Maverick? No, no, Sam, uh, no. Uh, Sacramento Kings, I believe. Okay, okay. He clowns him you know, spending money on Ice Spice. It was like five hundred, yeah, like half a million. Half a mil on a yeah. date with Ice Spice. I don't mean no harm, you know what I mean? Now, if he did this, this is allegedly, but if he did this, 
Bro, you trash. I can't. I can't ride with you on that. Well, I'm, I'm not, not gonna say half a mil on nobody. I'm not gonna say you trash. I mean, if you can do it, do it. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I can't even realize but at the same time, it's <laughs> like. But at the same time, like if you got the ability, I can understand that. But yeah, at the same time, like that's just a date. Now I can understand right. y'all. Like that's years. what I'm saying. That's a date. Yeah, like if you years day. and years I mean, into it. Yeah. For what? On, on and Ice Spice ain't even that attractive to me, man. I don't mean no harm, but she cool, but she ain't all that to me. She was like, uh, I can't do it. No. How <laughs> does she do it? I don't know. I ain't even trying. Yeah, I like that one song she got with that one girl. Yeah. The, she, she, uh, she makes some decent music. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm just saying. I mean, to me, you can get like the finest woman on earth, and I still wouldn't spend no half a mil on one date when I. I, there's so much more I could do in a half a mil. You know, I can yeah, put that into a business, something that's going to bring me a return on my money. You know what I mean? I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'll take you out and, and spend some nice money on you. You know what I mean? You can get cheese on your burger uh, and all of that. You know what I mean? And I'll spring for all of that. You know what I mean? But I'm not spending no half a mil. You know, I'll give you all the condiments you want, ketchup packets. All of that, you know, you can have it. Look, I sell all the mints out the tray, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we come out, all the mints is yours. All the mints is yours. See how them big man. hands is? Like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's come out. All the mints is yours. You know what I mean? You know, have enough mints to last the rest of your life. Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Rich, bitch. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, man. You know. I ain't that cheap, but I'm just saying I would not. I'm just I could just think of so many more things I could do with half a mil. I mean, I just I'm sorry, uh, and and a date is not one of them. I mean, over the course of a relationship, like if we if I'm a millionaire, over the course of a relationship, I'm sure I'm gonna spend that money on you. You know what I mean? But it ain't gonna be no on one date. Cause then what? What you gonna have? You gonna have to top that the next time. Yeah, that's she gonna be like, oh, boy, you only spent a half a mil last time. Now you gotta spend three quarters of a mil. I mean, even, you know even I mean? that's what I'm saying. Even if you was like say millionaire, billionaire, that's a tough. That's tough to top. I mean, right. you know what I'm saying. And these young NBA dudes need to be spending, putting, investing their money into something that's gonna bring them a return when they're out of the game because you can't. You ain't gonna be in this game that long, trust oh, me. Shout man. out to shout out to Kwame Brown because that's definitely what he's you know talking yeah. about. Because um, you know, and then he been giving up game on that too, talking about how mm-hmm. like a lot of these people like you be surprised, you know, broke or they have to work at night and take uh, night shift jobs because you know what I'm saying they they're so much of a celebrity that it hurts. Yeah, that like they, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but. He he was saying the same thing, like yeah, buy you up something, buy buy exactly. something because the um, you know these people that are in these contracts and things like that that's over your contracts, they siphon that money and get it goes back to them, but then they make you look like oh well, you you weren't good with your money, exactly so, exactly yeah so you know that's one thing I give somebody like Jay Z credit for doing because. He invested a lot of stuff to make sure he gets some money in return. Um, and, you know, he's been trying to put y'all on game for a while, but nobody be wanting to listen. Oh, he an old head. He don't know what he's talking about, but he can buy pretty much anything you can think of. You know what I mean? So I have to give it to him. There ain't no rapper I ain't never heard talking about. I can put people in, your, in, a, in apartments and shit. Right. I ain't heard exactly. Man, niggas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shout out to Ho. I had to give him that. <laughs> I mean, the hey, man, man. Man. <laughs> that's my dude right there when it comes to money. Mm. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I don't, I don't care. You know, what I mean, Ice Ice Spice is cool. I ain't got no hate for her or anything like that. Oh, I can't she, do it. <laughs> she <laughs> ain't, she ain't. I'm like I said, I don't care who you are. You know, what I mean, I could think of the finest girl I I could think of in the world, and I still wouldn't do that for her. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not. That there's not enough that you're doing for me that's gonna increase my value. I'm not here to make you a, 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 a rich, you know, on a one on one day just to impress you. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Over the course of time, if I have money like that, yes, yeah, we it's build, definitely yeah, gonna you happen. build, yeah, you build together. But, but just for one know. day, oh, that's crazy. Please, you can keep it. So. Anyway, um, but yeah, I guess we can go ahead and wrap it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, one last time, don't forget, like, like share, subscribe, like, 
share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? We got concerts to go to. You know what I'm saying? We got funds that need to be allocated. I'm telling you, man, we're going to have to get a cash out going for real for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, man, we appreciate y'all checking us out week after week. Um, you know, I put up a um, lyrical breakdown for Young M.A., so please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Yes, yes. I know definitely. she's going through some stuff. Definitely. And, you know, just was thinking about her and just wanted to give her some spotlight just to um, appreciate her lyricism. So um, go check that out. Um, and we will see y'all on the next episode. So this has been episode 242. 242? This is your man, Kurt. And this is... Howie. And we'll see y'all next time. Hey. Hey.